On this episode of Our Mountains, I'm in Pikeville at the Blue Raven Restaurant where Chef Matt Corbin shows us how to make their amazing crab cakes. We'll have music from students at Alice Lloyd College and one of the best songwriters you'll ever meet debuts one of his songs just for us. All this plus a lot more. And of course, Buford is coming right up on Our Mountains. Welcome to Our Mountains. I'm Rhonda Brashear. I'm Dean Osborne. And I'm Joel Brashear. And I thought we'd start off today talking about restaurants. We're going to visit a restaurant here in just a few minutes. But you folks at home might not know, my mom used to own a restaurant here in Hyden, Kentucky called Kudzu Corner. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Um, Kudzu Corner was kind of a brainchild of uh, a couple of women, uh, Desi and myself. and. Uh, we started it because of the School of Bluegrass coming in and uh, we said there's no place for the students to go and have a cup of coffee and play some music. So Desi and I said, we can do that. In those early days, I'm glad you did mm -hmm. because it fed a lot of us about every day. We uh, classically refer to it as the zoo. Okay. <laughs> But we served good wholesome food and we served some uh, hamburgers and french fries and it was just a neat place, but uh, I miss it. We all miss Kudzu Corner. Mm -hmm. Now Dino, I know you, like me, enjoy a good meal. When you think about restaurants, what do you look for? Um, I like unique places. You know, chain restaurants are okay and you can generally go in as we travel around playing music, you know, you can go in and get a good meal. You can be assured that the quality will be there with some places. But my favorite places are, are places there's just one of. Mm -hmm. I love a good restaurant. Well, right now, we're actually going to change gears a little bit and welcome back Richard Bowers. He's brought some students from Ice Lloyd College and they've got a song for you. Hello, I'm Richard Bowers uh, from over in Hindman there. Appreciate the opportunity to be on our mountains again. I have brought some help with me this time around. We have Stephanie Moore over here who's from Hazard, Kentucky. Kenzie Petrie, who is from Williamsburg, and Ron Howard, who is from right here in Hazard as well. So I uh, hope you enjoy this song, and especially this last verse. We went a little rant digging around a little bit uh, to find this one to add in to the song that you are used to hearing in church every Sunday. He 
great song from Richard and his group. They'll be back to do another tune for us a little later in the show. Right now we're going to go to break. When we come back we'll have a great crab cake recipe from Chef Matt Corbin. Don't go away. Frontier Nursing University, celebrating 75 years as pioneers for health care. Our mission is to educate nurse midwives and nurse practitioners to serve women and families. Learn more about Frontier Nursing University. Visit frontier.edu. Well, folks, I love good food. From Granny's home cooking all the way to fine dining in a restaurant, there's nothing better than a good meal. Well, Mom and I had a great meal the other day at the Blue Raven Restaurant in Pikeville. Chef Matt Corbin has been running that place for a couple years, and it's been named one of the top 10 restaurants in the state. Now, Mom's with Matt right now, and he's going to show us how to make his famous crab cakes. Mom? Thanks. Today, we're in Pikeville, Kentucky at the Blue Raven Cafe. And I'm with Matt Corbin. Hi, Matt. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Matt is going to show us how to make one of the recipes here at his restaurant. And it's, uh, tell us about it. Uh, this is the crab cakes. We change our menu seasonally. So this is the only menu item that has survived all of our menu changes. It's pretty popular. It's our best seller. It's very simple, very easy to do. And um, I'll show you how to do it real okay. quick. This is just some um, crab claw meat. It's uh, three pounds. Add to that, we got a little bit of mayonnaise. This is uh, eight ounces or about a cup. Full fat mayonnaise? Yeah, real just thing. regular mayonnaise, the okay. real deal. Um, this is some panko breadcrumbs. This is a quart container, so it's about 32 ounces. Okay. And then we've got some whole grain Dijon mustard, um, about three or four tablespoons. Um, and then the last thing is uh, just some Old Bay. It's got uh, paprika, salt, pepper, a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah. Add that in there. Um, so this is the base for our, our jumbo lump crab cakes. After we make up the, um, the mixture here, we'll add in our, our jumbo lump afterwards so it doesn't break up. So we got nice big pieces of crab. But you could definitely stop at this point and, and use this for your crab cake if mm -hmm. you wanted to, if you wanted to serve it. So I'm just going to give it a little toss here. This is some sauteed red onion and red pepper here we're going to add also. So this is about the consistency you want. Um, it's a little wet. I usually let it sit up for about an hour to two hours because it makes it easier to mold into the crab cake shape that we use. Uh -huh. um, but from here we would just add our lump meat and then we'd throw it in the oven and after we do that I can show you what it looks like finished. So, so you've uh, patted them out and this is an unusual little shape. How did you do that? Uh, we've got some, some tall ring molds that we use. Makes it easy, same size every time. Um, and then we, you could saute them, you could throw them in the oven which is what we do or put them under the broiler. Um, okay. We'll throw Let's it in the, the oven, oven right here. Do you serve this with any kind of sauce or anything or just? Yeah, uh, it comes with our um, house remoulade, which we make pickles here. So um, they're bread and butter pickles. Um, we use those to make the remoulade. And then we have a red onion, red pepper, and apple salsa that goes on top. And um, as soon as they get out of the oven, I'll put it together and show right. you the finished product. Matt, a lot of our young people seem to go to the bluegrass part of the state, either to Lexington or Louisville or somewhere where there are a lot more opportunities, and you did the opposite. Why did you come back to Pikeville? Uh, my dream was always to own my own restaurant, and Pikeville afforded me the best opportunity to do that. I have a good support system here. My, my family's here. Um, my parents have been pretty instrumental in helping me get this up and running. My grandfather was here, and he had a lot of businesses, and I kind of wanted to continue that legacy as well. Okay. Very good, very good. Where do you see yourself in five years? I mean, we've, we've pretty much settled into the area. Like, we've got a two and a half year old. And I mean, Pikeville is a great neighborhood to raise a kid. So I'm assuming that we'll still be here in five years. Um, I want the restaurant to become a much bigger success than it is right now. We've gotten some notoriety lately, but I'd like to concede, con mm -hmm. or continue that to grow. I like the building you're in. Um, tell us about the um, construction or the renovation. How did you get to where we are today? This used to be um, a car shop, and 
af after that, it was a um, telephone company. Um, we, we took it over from them, took the lease over, and we came in and pretty much redid the whole thing. It wasn't really set up for a restaurant, but um, we put the kitchen in and all the woodwork. We uh, tore down a barn from my grandfather's farm and reused the wood. Um, and it's all in the dining room and the bar. The bar is very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We, we worked hard on it. Matt, tell us some of the things on the menu here at the Blue Raven. Uh, we do a seasonal menu, so we change it up every three months. Right now we're in the winter time, so there's not a lot of fresh produce that we can get from the surrounding area. In the spring, in the summer, in the fall, we do get a lot um, from Floyd County and from Pike County. There's mm -hmm. some pretty good farmers that are growing a lot of good stuff around here. So. Um, we try to use what we can. Uh, we do a lot of specials during the week, soups, that kind of thing. So we also use some, some specialty ingredients that they grow. And just on the menu, we kind of do, um, it's like Southern classics. We've done hot browns, we've done pot roasts. I do simple food and we just try to make it as nice as possible and use the best ingredients that we can. I think that's a winner. <laughs> so this is um, our remoulade on the bottom that we make with our house pickles and red pepper and then our lump crab cake on top. And this is just a fresh green apple, red pepper, and red onion salsa. Mm, it's just um, mm. all that stuff in a small dice, and we toss it with a little um, white wine vinegar or white balsamic vinegar, and usually some local honey if we've got it on hand. Mm, it looks marvelous. So this is um, one of our best sellers. People really, enjoy this one and like I said it's been on the menu since we've opened. Okay. Can we taste it? Yeah. It smells really good. All right, this is mine, that one's yours. All right. I don't get I want, to eat my food very often. I want a little bite of everything. It's still pretty hot, steaming. Mmm. If you'd like to visit the Blue Raven, tell us how to get here. Uh, we're at downtown Pikeville, 211 Main Street. Hard to miss. It's a big brick building. Our phone number is 606-509-2583. Uh, well, I got a bite of that crab cake when they were finished. And let me tell you, I was tempted to lick the plate. It was that good. Now, when we come back, we're going to introduce you to a songwriter that we know you're going to love. Stay tuned. Our Mountains is currently looking for area businesses and organizations interested in sponsoring our show. From large corporations to the shop around the corner, any business in Our Mountains will benefit from the exposure gained from advertising on our show, and we have plans to fit any budget. Call Rhonda at 606-521-6493 or send us an email to ourmountainseky at gmail.com for more information or to set up an appointment. Help us celebrate East Kentucky culture and support Our Mountains. Hey folks, Our Mountains is always looking for interesting stories and talented musicians from our region to showcase. If you'd like to be part of Our Mountains, or if you just want to let us know what you think of the show, give us a call at 606-521-6493. You can always shoot us an email at ourmountainseky at gmail.com. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching Our Mountains. Dan Woods is a renaissance man. Not only is he a very good carpenter, he's a pretty good songwriter too. Here he is with Ben Noble on the guitar singing a brand new song that Dan just wrote, It Won't Let Me Go. to see ahead world 
were the lights of another town Now I'm thinking it's dead With you I could settle down I'd gotten so good at leaving Until the day you said hello won't let me go So here's to taking chances Not knowing what lies down the road Yeah, I got this love won't let me go and it won't let me go Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Don't go away. Coming right up, you're going to hear some songs from the Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music and from Richard Bowers. Stay tuned. Frontier Nursing University, celebrating 75 years as pioneers for health care. Our mission is to educate nurse midwives and nurse practitioners to serve women and families. Learn more about Frontier Nursing University. Visit frontier.edu. Welcome back to Our Mountains. You know, one of my favorite parts of the show is where we feature our alumni from the Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music. Here they are with another great tune. <laughs> Thank 
you so much. We really appreciate that. That's a great job. We're really proud of our alumni group from the school. Right now we'll go to Richard and a song called Rich Kids. Richard? Daddy fixed cars late every night To put food on the table for his kids and his wife The son of the depression, he had six grades of school He worked so hard to keep us in shoes Our little house was so crowded, but it was so full of love Where we never left home Without a kiss and a hug When the times got the toughest We just prayed and made do And I wore the clothes My big brothers outgrew Daddy kissed as soon as he came home And Mama read the Bible Till the Sandman would come now everything was all right Cause they were right down the hall I guess we were the rich kids after all Now my little girl's drifting Sleep in my arms And I kiss her sweet head So tender and warm Now there's a picture of Jesus I can't thank him enough It's not what you have But who do you love? Daddy kissed as soon as he came home and Mama read the Bible till the Sandman would come. Everything was all right, cause they were right down the hall. I guess we were the rich kids. Looking back, we were the rich kids. Looking back, we were the rich kids. After all. That was a great song, Richard. Thanks for being with us. When we come back from break, Buford's going to make a special request for all the female members of our audience. Don't go away. Our Mountains is sponsored by Frontier Nursing University, Pioneers for Healthcare. The Kentucky Bankers Association. More than banks, they're your neighbors. Our Mountains is currently looking for area businesses and organizations interested in sponsoring our show. From large corporations to the shop around the corner, any business in Our Mountains will benefit from the exposure gained from advertising on our show, and we have plans to fit any budget. Call Rhonda at 606-521-6493 or send us an email to OurMountainsEKY at gmail.com for more information or to set up an appointment. Help us celebrate East Kentucky culture and support Our Mountains. We want to thank you for watching Our Mountains. This week I had a really nice call from a lady named Shirley over in Clay City, Kentucky, and she's a mountain girl just like me. So uh, I appreciate those phone calls and all of your comments on Facebook. Well, before we go, we've got to see what Buford's up to this week. Um, all right. Oh, hello. This is Buford with Our Mountains. And uh, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, from the viewers, uh, mostly from the uh, ladies out there. Uh, and uh, one of the major questions that they're asking me is, Hey, Buford, are you single? And uh, the answer to that question is, Why, well, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, now, uh, don't be intimidated, ladies, uh, by the fact that I'm on television and that I am devilishly good looking, okay? Don't let that deter you, okay? Uh, uh, personality is what is uh, most important to me, and your uh, your love for brown cows is a must, okay? As long as uh, you can listen to Conway, and you like a brown cow, hey, hey, that's all I need, okay? So, uh, I am single, 
ready to mingle, okay? And uh, I'll come pick you up at your slow, and uh, we'll go out and share a brown cow with some, some Conway. I know it'll be a magical night. So any ladies that's interested in uh, me taking you out, hey, right into the show, okay? Cow, cow show, okay? Uh, leave a comment, okay? Cow so, uh, I, like I said, girl, so I'm, I'm free. I'm on the market, okay? And uh, I need a special kind of girl because I'm a special kind of guy, okay? This is Buford signing off for our mountains. I'm Buford. <laughs> what, uh, Miss Rhonda, what, uh, what is a brown cow? A brown cow is an ice cream on a stick. I used to eat them when I was young. I they have chocolate that. over vanilla, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Brown cow. That's what it was, brown, there's with, brown cow and brown mules, I think, too. We used to have brown mules. With, with Buford, you just never know. <laughs> oh. He seems to love his brown cow. <laughs> I couldn't get over the fact that, you know, we started out as a, as a good, wholesome television show, but apparently now we're a dating source for Buford. Okay. So, ladies, if you want to get a hold of Buford, send me an email, shoot us a, a message on Facebook, and I'll get it to him. BufordOnly.com. <laughs> Y'all have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.